we're going to do student checkup word 3-1 right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and download this do document file right here and that's what I'm going to use to begin the checkup word assignment. Right here it is, it just opened up. Now I, what I need to do is I need to go ahead and save that. I'm going to go ahead and save it as uh, my initials student checkup word 3-1. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So what, I'm, what I want to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to alter the order of how I do this assignment just a little bit. And what that'll do is it'll help you get that first title page set up before we do anything else. So this text right here, right? So the first three lines is going to be the text that's going to be on my title page. Then I'm going to have an abstract page right here with this text that I just highlighted. And then below that will be the main text of my document. And then I'll also have a, um, a reference of bibliography at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set up the vertical alignment on my um, on my document so that it'll be correct for the title page so let's go ahead and do that so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and just put my cursor at the beginning here and then I'm going to go to layout I'm gonna go to page setup and in page setup I'm gonna go to the layout tab here so that's gonna give me the option down here for vertical alignment so, what, so my title page, what I'm going to have is I'm going to have some words right in the center of the title page, which means I have to align it both horizontally and vertically to be centered on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and click center and I'm going to just go, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as whole document and um, I'll do, uh, and I'll hit OK. So what that's going to do is it's going to center the entire document vertically. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go down to abstract. So these first three lines are going to be my title document. So right here in abstract, I'm going to go ahead and separate that out into a new page by hitting control and enter. That will give me a hard page break. And we see here that my uh, there's my title right there. Right, my title page is here, and then abstract. And but the problem is is my title page is centered correctly vertically, but the rest of my document is also. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to, right here where abstract is, I'm going to select my page setup again on my layouts tab. I'm going to make sure it's on the layout tab over here when I get my uh, breakout. And then I'm going to switch it back to top. And there's one thing, uh, one thing I, I have to do here to make sure it aligns or it gets everything set correctly and doesn't impact my title page that I just got correct, right? So I'm going to have to select this point forward. And so what that'll do is from the word abstract forward for the rest of my document, it's it's all going to be top uh, vertically aligned. But my title page will remain center vertically aligned. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you see it pulls up there to the top, which looks good. And then I'm going to go up to my title page and sure enough, it's still centered vertically in the center. So that's one quick way you can do right from the beginning to get everything aligned correctly. And now I'm going to go back to the uh, book and I'm going to continue on with this assignment just to make sure everything's set. So with this, um, I'm going to go ahead and do Control A, which will select all the text in the document. You see everything selected here. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to, I'm starting now at uh, five in the book. And that's where I'm going to start formatting the paragraph. So I'm going to first, I'm going to make sure everything's aligned left. I'm going to make sure that my uh, indentation special first line is 0.5 there. And then I'm going to go down to spacing and make sure that my after is zero as well and my line spacing is double. And then I'm going to hit OK. So that just redid all of my text here that I have correctly. So it, that looks good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and continue on. 
and while everything's still selected I'm going to format all the text to be Times New Roman 12 font okay I'm, now I'm going to uh, unselect here I'm going to click anywhere and that'll that'll take the uh, selection off of all and then I kind of already I already did uh, step eight uh, nine and ten but what, one thing that I want to do is uh, on 11 there I want to make sure to select all this information here and I'm going to align it centrally so I'm going to align it to the center one thing you see I'm going to align this text to the center since I went ahead and did that tab spacing it it moved it over a half an inch I want to move all that back for my title and then center it and then it'll be uh, truly centered up on the page or else it'll be centered uh, plus that half inch so I want to do that and then I'm going to move down here out in the title and I'm going to go ahead and replace the second line with my name and I'm going to replace the third line with Treasure Valley Community College Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the header. So I'm going to get the header set up here for this uh, this whole document here. So what I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a running header, uh, which means I'm I'm just going to start typing. So I'm going to go ahead and what I did was I went to the top of the right the top of this first page, and if you right here at this top section of the page, if you go ahead and just double click on it real quick, the the um, header will open up right so that's kind of a shortcut to get to the header and then I'm going to go ahead and type in my uh, running header information here which is so that's what it said to put in the uh, in the book I'm going to go ahead and hit tab here which will scooch me over a little bit and then I'm going to enter in a page number here and I'll, I'm going to say current position and just go ahead and select plain number uh, so that's zero right there it wants me to start at one so I'm going to go ahead and do format page numbers and scooch it up to one and then I can go ahead and tab this over and it'll tab over to the side which looks good there okay okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I am going to what I want to do is I want to move this really I want to move this part right here uh, this whole part onto another page is what I want to do so this is my abstract so the abstract of the paper is going to be on its own page so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and put it just at the bottom of the geological area and I'm going to go ahead and do control enter and that'll give me a new page there so there's abstract lined up there. I'm going to want to make sure that the abstract is centered in the document here. We just we can just double check here on this page and make sure that there's no extra spacing. There's one extra space there so I can hit delete and scooch it all up. And then with this first page here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make that into I'm gonna go ahead and center that as well so that's gonna be centered and I'm gonna make sure that that is bold so I can do click bold there okay so that looks good there so now this is continuing right so what I want to do is I want to make sure the header ends up on all pages right so I'm gonna make sure this is gonna be moved down right here this page uh, did not format with a number correctly so I need to make sure I go over to my page number here in design and I need to make sure to format page numbers and scooch it up there so it has the correct number on the page that's page two and then starting here at page three I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in and there's page three and four so that looks like it's picking up all right now since I have my headers I actually went ahead and copied this first one from the first page and just pasted it in and 
and we just need to make sure that the numbers are formatting correctly on them. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to update. So I'm all the way down here on number 18. So we need to update and make sure that we have um, our reference information correct. So I'm still, the, you can see the header is still selected here. So all I have to do is, is double click down into the body of the document and it'll unselect headers. I can also collect the close headers and footers tab on that as well. So uh, what we need to do here, so right here on this paragraph, there is a reference. So I can click on this little drop down arrow here and I can look and edit my source. So I have this, all this information in step 18 is already in the document that we download, right? So it's already set there. And we can, um, we can see all the information here is in there. So that looks good. So that's already set for us with number 18. Um, now, we need, now what we need to do is we need to go down here. Uh, one thing we need to do is this paragraph right by US Forestry we need to make sure that this paragraph right here, we're going to increase the indentation on it. So go ahead and select the paragraph. We're just going to hit tab. Okay. So with that, hitting tab, that'll increase the indent on it. So we just need to do that once, and you see that whole paragraph is scooched over. So that's perfect. Now we're going to go down to the bottom here. We want to include a bibliography at the bottom, so we can go do Control Enter. That'll hit, give us a page break. So we have a new page here on page five. And right there on the top of page five is where we're going to put our reference, our bibliography. So we can click on the reference tab, go over here, and we're going to click references. And there it goes. It's going to, it's going to put it right there. We want, to, we want references to be centered. So we can go to home and center that up. And we also want uh, it looks like some of this is not formatted correctly. We need to make sure that that is double spaced on there. So we can go ahead and, and do the spacing that's in paragraph. That's a quick way to do it right there. And it's still not formatted right. So I'm going to go ahead and hit delete and scooch this over a little bit. And so that looks a little better maybe on that. Yeah, either way, it looks good. So that looks good there and we'll go ahead and leave it as that. Um, we need to make sure that these references are also formatted to Times Roman 12 as well. And everything looks good. We can go ahead and roll back through here and make sure it looks like the document in the book. And it does, our example in the book, so everything looks good. And now we can go ahead and save it. And we need to make sure to uh, submit it up to the Canvas link for our student checkup Word 3-1. Have a good day.